Uh, hi guys, Joe here. Uh, I'm waiting for uni to start, so I decided to make a synthesizer as a kind of side project. And I wanted to share a bit about the building process and how I made it pretty much, and what kind of parts and components I used. Uh, so let's jump straight into it. Here it is. Um, looks kind of shabby, but that's just because I didn't really have time to make a case, nor the tools. Um, but I have it now connected up to my sound card. Uh, so if I boot it up, you can kind of start to understand how it works. Yeah, it's kind of a bit loud, but it's... A fairly simple FM synthesizer with a step sequence built in. And also a separate filter as well. Uh, and I'll go in more detail into this uh, in a bit. So what I did was that I just found some parts I had lying around. Probably just break them off. Just didn't really plan it too much. That was the goal. Uh, I used my shabby engineering skills. Both of you just share the space. To use um, an Arduino Nano as kind of the heart of the whole synthesizer. So you see this thing here. It's a microcontroller, which you can program. and uh, So it's a digital synthesizer with a sort of analog filter. Um, but everything is running from that uh, microcontroller there. Uh, and it's just hooked up to some buttons, LEDs and potentiometers. Um, and it sounds fairly good. I'm quite impressed. The building process is... Um, kind of straightforward, a bit here and there, tried stuff out, tried to experiment, especially with filter, but um, I do want to show off at least Arduino code, because I used this um, external library called the Mossy library, and I'll get over to, to the computer now and show you. This is the code, guys. So... I used something called the Mossy library, which allows the, an Arduino to be turned into a software synthesizer. Um, that's my explanation of it. It's much more. You can even add effects, filters, delays. Um, you can do all sorts of things within the hardware limitations of the Arduino platform itself. Uh, so I will try to get into this in the future as well just as a simple software synthesizer. Um, but I didn't do that much else than use the library uh, provided. Um, obviously, there's, uh, it took forever just writing all the code and getting everything to work. Um, the Mossy library is... I'm not used to writing code in the way that you have to do it with the Mossy library, so it took me quite a bit of time. Um, but it's, in simple terms, um, a shitload, shitloads of if statements, um, triggering note events, um, and then you can change uh, carrier type, because it's a FM synthesizer, you can change the oscillator types. So um, there's a carrier, uh, carrier wave and a modulator wave, so you can change both of them. Uh, and also an LFO, that you can choose what kind of wave you want, um, with the code I wrote, at least. Um, so yeah, I will post this on my blog, linked in the description. Um, so you, anyone can have a look at it, maybe test uh, test something uh, for themselves. Uh, this is not too advanced, uh, so 
should be a good way to kind of get into the Mossy Library itself. Um, and I believe it's fairly easy to understand everything, even though I'm shit at commenting. Uh, so yeah, I'll show the full extent of the synthesizer itself. Here we go. I have the audio uh, coming in to A button, so I can apply a bit of reverb. Not too much. So it's a 16 step sequencer and I have three pages of settings. The first you access by pushing one like the rightmost button and one here and then you can hold down um, these four buttons in combination with using the knobs to change the step. So this will be the first step in the sequence. If you hold this down and change it, it will be the second. And then the LED indicates what page you're on. So to change page, you hold down the rightmost button and click that. Um, button and it will light up to indicate that you're on the second page. Um, because I'm kind of a big fan of random events, I added this function as well. It randomizes all the steps. So it's a quick way to try something kind of cool. And then you have the second page, which is the oscillator page. Yeah, to go out of each of the pages, you have to uh, click the fifth button here. Um, so then let's go to the oscillator setting. And you have the third page, which is kind of general settings, so setting BPM. Ah, my bad, these buttons do something else now. They set the amount of steps. This is kind of freehand, like how fast it is. And then at the very end, it's a set BPM. 128, 116, and then 128, um, 1 8. Uh, and then, yeah, you can also change the steps here. You can make some kind of cool amount of customization. Uh, and then you have the kind of main page where the synth is. Um, so here you have the LFO, which... Mmm, my bad. I changed it to... <laughs> I haven't polished the code yet. I changed the carrier wave to um, nothing. Yeah, this is the LFO. And 
this knob over here is carry a wave. No, modulate wave. This is a modulation of the signal, the fourth knob. This is the amount of modulation, the second knob. You can turn it pretty much all the way off. This knob is the volume knob. This is the filter. I don't know why, it only works on some frequencies. I'm not good at electronics, so don't ask me. Um, I might figure it out later though. And it's more a modulator than a filter. Um, cause I don't think I made it the proper way, <laughs> like how you make a filter. Um, it's mostly an oscillator. Amplifying, um, no, the main signal amplified through an external oscillator with a filter built in, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> uh, so yeah, but it works and it sounds real cool and I made it in a couple of days, so I'm happy with it. Um, so yeah, that's it for um, the show off of this synthesizer and side project. Um, I'll leave the sketch for the Arduino code in um, on my blog and post that in the description so you can have a closer look if you want to. And if there's any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I'll see you guys.
Thank <laughs> you.